Hello, and today we'll be doing a incredibly awaited follow-up video to my original video where I showcase how to install free radius on Ubuntu 22.04. Now we're doing this on Ubuntu 24.04, and this is going to be an updated version of pretty much the guide that I already had created. So on your screen here, you can see I'm going through the process on Proxmox of creating my virtual machine. This is going to be different for everyone, and you don't need the specifications I'm giving it. I'm just showing this on the screen just as a template in case you need to know um, the settings to use on Proxmox. So essentially in this video, I will be going over the documentation that I have updated for my free radius installation guide. Um, that will be linked down in the description below. Um, I have off camera here just so I can reference it as I go along, um, but it is super easy. It's really similar to the Ubuntu 22.04 version, except there's a few different updated packages um, and a, that's pretty much all we need. So um, the compatibility is um, pretty much already there. And the nice thing about this installation is that um, we'll be using an updated version of Free Radius as well. So we'll get the latest and greatest features of Free Radius um, with the latest and greatest version of Ubuntu. So without further ado, let's begin. So on the screen now, you'll see the Ubuntu installer. I'm going to go through these steps. I'm just clicking done through these and I'm going to take it. And I'll take a note of the IP address right here um, off camera. That way I know where to SSH into later on um, once we get the Ubuntu virtual machine booted up. Continue on, it's going to test the mirror. Okay, we'll click done and we'll continue going down. If you want to do LVS encryption, you could encrypt your disk. I'm not going to go over that in this video specifically. We're going to unmount this top disk, go down to Ubuntu LV, edit, scroll over here and type in 61.996. This is going to give us the um, largest amount of storage for our VM and we'll mount this to the slash root partition right there. We'll go down to done. Uh, yes, we want to continue. We'll give it a name. The radius uh, 24 and a username. Username, password, enter done. Uh, we'll skip Ubuntu Pro for now. We'll turn it on open SSH server. So it's going to install it uh, tab and done. So that's pretty much the setup for Ubuntu. So now that Ubuntu is installed, we're going to click enter to remove the media. Um, this is something that you just have to just basically tell it, yes, you remove the ISO. Typically, virtual machine um, hosts like KVM or Proxmox, they'll automatically remove the ISO media after installation. So it'll make your job a lot easier here. Um, so you can just confidently press that button and click OK. Now that the VM is booted up, we're going to connect to this through SSH. Here is Termius. We're going to double click on our host and add and continue to accept the identity. And here we are. So we are inside of the virtual machine. So a few things we're going to do here before we even get started with free radius. Uh, we're going to run sudo by sudo. If I can spell, uh, type in our password. We'll go down here to page down and we'll go right before this last line, push two enters and we'll do a plus sign. Your username is right here. So I'm going to say beam networks. We'll do space all equals parentheses all colon all close parentheses no P-A-S-S-W-D, colon, all. And we'll do control X, Y, and enter on the keyboard to close out of that. So essentially what that did is that said that anytime you log into the VM through SSH, you will not have to enter your password once you're already authenticated. So you still have to use it to SSH into your VM, but once you're in there, you're good to go and you can do whatever you want. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to update the VM. So we're gonna say sudo apt update, dash Y, and then sudo apt upgrade, dash Y. We're on this command, it's gonna go through the list of all the packages available, make sure it has the latest version of all of the packages, then we can proceed to the installation guide. Uh, you'll see this, like I said, linked down in the description below, and we'll go from there with the steps on installing all the packages that we need to in order to get free radius installed. Sweet, so it is now done, just took a few minutes here. Um, now we're gonna run the installation command. So I kind of consolidated this list of packages to kind of one command you can run here. So I'm gonna type it out I recommend you go on the documentation and you actually paste it in. It'll be so much easier, but I'm going to say sudo apt install php apache2 php 8.3-fpm free radius lib apache2 dash mod dash php maria db server free radius dash mysql There's a lot of packages here. Free radius dash utils php dash um, curly bracket gd comma common comma mail 
comma mail dash mime comma my sql comma pair comma db comma mb string comma xml comma curl close curly bracket dash y so this is so this is the entire list of packages we should need for this entire time um, once everything is installed we can go through the configuration process of everything it'll be super easy promise um, by the way if you need a more detailed description of any of these things on um, my original by the way if you need any like by the way if you need more explanation on any of the things i cover in this video uh, it's very likely that in the first video i made of this um, that i have all of this planned out and i have all of it explained nicely um, in detail so um, it's using the older installation setup but you can follow what I say and just use these new commands. It'll be the same thing. So now we're going to run sudo systemctl enable dash dash now and, and oh, dash dash now Apache 2 and and sudo systemctl enable free radius. So this is enabling free radius. So it's saying when the virtual machine boots up, it's going to automatically start free radius. And it's also enabling Apache 2, but it's starting Apache 2. Um, as part of that process. So now we're gonna run the um, SQL Server installation. So we're gonna say sudo mysql comma secure comma installation. So we're using MariaDB, um, but we'll use the um, SQL configuration for it. So it functions like a SQL Server, but it's actually MariaDB. So we're gonna enter since we don't have a root password. We're going to say no, no, yes, 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 and yes. Um, and that's pretty much all for that. So now I'm going to say sudo mysql, just like that. And I'm going to create the database. So create database radius. Uh, and then now we need to create our user account. So we're going to create a user. Oops, create user. I'm going to say radius at um, localhost. And we're going to identify this by the password that we're going to set. Uh, so this is one of the things I'm doing this differently than what you should do where I have password between these brackets, you should change this. You probably need to change this to something other than password. That'll make your setup more secure. I'm using password because as soon as this video is done, I'm deleting this virtual machine anyways, but um, for a secure installation, you need to change that from password to something else. doesn't matter what it is, as long as it doesn't have a curly bracket in it. Pretty much anything you type in there is going to work fine for a password. Uh, now we're going to grant all privileges on the radius database to uh, the radius user at localhost and then we're going to flush privileges and we will quit so that's all the stuff we have to do with the sql server now let's move on to connecting that to free radius so yet again we're going to do sudo su we're going to go to the root user um, we're going to run mysql dash u root dash p radius um, less than sign slash etc free radius slash 3.0 slash mods config slash sql slash main slash my sql slash schema dot sql so we're essentially giving the radius database the sql schema that we have pre-configured in the free radius uh, directory so that comes with the free radius installation so we're just mapping that in and importing that template, you could say. Now we're going to do a symbolic link of this file right here in etc free radius uh, 3.0 mods available SQL. And we're going to map this to mods uh, enabled slash SQL. So we're essentially just enabling this mod in free radius, which is the SQL mod. Um, so that's what we got to do for that. So the next thing we're going to play around in this configuration file for a little bit here change some things that we need to. The first thing, we're going to change the dialect from SQLite to MySQL. Pretty simple. Uh, let's keep going down here. We're going to comment out this first driver, and we're going to use the dialect. So essentially, it's just saying we're going to use the RLM SQL, uh, SQL module, essentially. Um, if we keep going down, we'll see we have the MySQL right here. We're going to go up to TLS and comment all of this stuff out because we will not be using TLS in this video. Technically, you could use TLS for increased security, um, but it necessarily doesn't matter for what we're doing. Um, if we keep going down, you'll see some of your settings here for the database storage and that kind of thing. So you can remap different tables and that kind of thing within free radius. We're not doing that in this video. Um, let's keep going down. 
where it says client table NAS, make sure that's uncommented, make sure that says NAS. And then this line right above it where it says read clients equals yes, we need to uncomment that. So we are reading the clients from the database. Next, we're gonna do control X, Y, enter on the keyboard. We'll get out of that and move on. Oop, I forgot one thing. Let's go back into that file. We need to search for connection info. So on your keyboard, you can do control W and you can search, type it in, and that will pull it up for you on your screen. We're gonna uncomment all of these four lines right here and fill it in with the information that we set earlier. So for example, my password was all capital password. Your password should be something different. It should be something randomized. You'll fill that in there within those brackets, or sorry, within those parentheses. For real this time, we're gonna do control X, Y, and then enter. And then um, we're going to change the group of a file. So we're gonna do sudo ch grp dash h free rad. And then we're gonna give it this uh, mods enabled SQL file right here that we just edited. Essentially, we're just changing its group privileges to fall under the free radius reign. Um, so now we're gonna do the chown command, which is going to give the user and group um, full access to this file. So it's actually the same file. Uh, we're gonna give it to free rad, free rad. Sorry, oops. We'll give it to that directory, just like that. Next, we're gonna do sudo systemctl restart free radius that's going to restart the server and actually turn the server on this time um, so if you ran that command and you don't have an output that means you're good to go it means it started successfully uh, we can actually run sudo systemctl status free radius and that's going to tell you kind of more in depth on the actual status of it so you'll see the memory usage you'll see the tasks that it's doing and down here in these logs you'll see it'll turn red typically if your terminal has colors if it doesn't you'll see errors pop up with your act with your exact error. You'll also see right here where it says active, um, it'll say failed or something like that if you do have issues with your configuration. In this case, we do not, so that's great. Next, we're gonna do sudo system CTL. Okay, so next we're gonna install PHP my admin, which is going to be a nice web interface for our server. So now we're gonna run sudo apt install PHP my admin. We're gonna run the installation here. It's gonna pop up on the screen actually. We're going to push space to set Apache 2, go to OK. It's going to continue the installation. And then now we're going to set it with our database settings. So as soon as it pops up again, we're going to configure our database with DB Common. And since we set no password, we're going to click OK. So it's going to generate its own random password. So um, with that being said, now we can move on. If you want to do dynamic VLAN assignment within Unify or any other router, essentially if you want to map a user to a VLAN, you have to do this step. So we're going to run sudo nano slash etc slash free radius slash 3.0 slash mods dash enabled slash EAP. So this is the EAP settings, which is going to tunnel the reply essentially of the um, VLAN to the user in the response to the router. So that all makes sense here in a little bit. Um, we're going to search. So control W, we're going to search for use tunneled reply. And we're going to do control W again, and we need to find the second occurrence of this, just like this right here. And we're going to change no to yes. So we're going to essentially um, reply the VLAN through the tunnel to the router when it asks for the user. Um, so with that being said now, one thing you can do is you can run sudo service free radius reload, and that will do a soft reload on the server. So instead of the server having to completely stop and shut down, it'll actually do a soft reload. So you won't lose any clients, connections or whatever during that restart process. So it's kind of smooth. If you have requests coming in from your router and you want to make a change, you can do that and have a soft reload. So then the next request is going to get your new um, response and you'll have no downtime there. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I kind of sped through a lot of things. If you have any questions, um, there's a link on the documentation to my website. Uh, you can contact me through my website, contact through the YouTube comments. There's a lot of people that are happy to help in the comments below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.